week in NBA 2K18, the Double Double Pack has hit my team. Rack up the MT in-game with Steve Nash, Marcus Canby, Chris Bosh, John Stockton, and more players featured in this pack. And if you complete this collection, an Amethyst Dwight Howard is your reward. And the logos for the NBA 2K League have been released. You can check out the league's new logo and the logos for the 17 teams on the official NBA 2K League Twitter page. Remember, qualification starts in Pro-Am in January, so get ready to compete. Check out the NBA 2K League microsite at www.nba2kleague.com for more details. And shout outs to those of you who have spotted Drake in the neighborhood. Remember, you can always submit your favorite in-game moments using the hashtag 2KTVPicks. Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to another episode of NBA 2K TV. We are super excited to have Greg Anthony back as a commentator in NBA 2K18. And we sat down with him earlier in the year to see how he brings his on-court experience to the game. And you gotta admire the speed of Jackson. He, he's a nightmare in the open floor, just has a knack for being in the right place at the right time. What's up, guys? Today I am here with Greg Anthony. Thank you for joining us on 2K TV. Oh, well, Rachel, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, you have been part of the 2K family since 2K16. Yeah. People are hearing your voice all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about Tatum there with the finish with some authority above the rim? It's weird to kind of be known more for being in a video game than what I do really for my career, but I think that speaks to just how powerful the game has become and how popular it is around the world. So today you were recording for 2K18. What was different about this year's recording? Our job's kind of easy. You know, we, we ad lib a little bit with the scripts and what have you, and you know, it, it's still kind of focused on the game and the realism that it brings. Uh, I, I've talked to people who actually became NBA fans because of the game, which is kind of weird. Yeah. You know, you think about it, but that's been the impact I think the game has had. So you also did some recording with Kevin Harlan. And for the Blazers, Greg, you can make the case they possess the second best backcourt in the NBA after the Splash Brothers with Lillard and McCullough. Yeah, uh, certainly offensively. I mean, they're just about unguardable. What is different about recording with him for a live TV broadcast or just being in the audio booth with him? You know what? Believe it or not, not a lot. It's kind of easy because you really do put yourself in situations that are actually occurring in real live games. The hardest part is when we have to incorporate the rookies because we haven't seen them in these situations. Yeah, and Ball, a transcendent talent, I think has a real skill for finding his teammates when they have those good looks at the rim. Are there any rookies or draftees coming up that you're excited about? I'm excited for all of them for different reasons. One, as a fan of the game, but also as somebody who's gone through the experience of being a rookie and getting drafted and understanding how much of an accomplishment it is because most of those kids have grown up with their goal of trying to play in the NBA. And so then when you get the opportunity to actually realize that, it's a really cool experience and an unbelievable feeling. And you had a pretty long NBA career yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah played, 11. played 11 years and had a great time playing it and have basically been in the NBA game now going on 27, 28 years. You know, when you factor in the broadcasting. And so, yeah, it, it's been fun. Uh, I didn't grow up thinking that at this stage of my life, this is what I'd be doing, but it's pretty cool. So let's think back to your playing days for oh, a second. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's painful. Do you have one moment that is your favorite? Draft night for me, getting to go and play for a team I grew up rooting, the New York Knicks, that was a huge, huge honor. You know, getting to play for legendary coach Pat Riley, another huge honor, playing in the seventh game in the NBA Finals, you know even though we lost. That was a huge honor, you know? So, a lot of awesome memories. Do you think there's any guy in the NBA now who plays like you used to play? Probably a guy like Patrick Beverly, you know, who's just a, a, a bulldog. Uh, a little bit Mike Conley, although he's a better player than I was. But those are guys that, 
you know, I, I kind of played a similar style to. And so those are a couple guys that, that kind of stand out for me. Well, thank you again for joining us in 2K18 and of oh, course yeah. on 2K TV. Mike Wang here, gameplay director for the NBA 2K series. Greg Anthony has lent us his insight on commentary for years in NBA 2K. Yeah, I mean, he'll brush off the comparisons to Steph Curry, but, but he presents some of the same problems for the defense. But in NBA 2K18, he also appears on the rosters of the 95 Knicks, 2000 Trailblazers, and the all-time Grizzlies. With nearly 100 teams filled with historic players, it can be tough to remember the strengths of these great players and how to use them effectively in NBA 2K18. Before you even load into a game, you can hit up the roster screen in the options menu. Here, you can see complete team rosters, and you can click the right stick in to view their player cards. I recommend taking a quick look at any player's badges to see their overall strengths. But for a little more detail, you can check each rating and even compare them against position averages. While in a game, you can press up on the D-pad to bring up the gameplay HUD. Whether you're on offense or defense, you can quickly see a player's strengths and weaknesses. You can also look at the indicator under a player's feet to see their hot and cold zones. This will let you know where you should try and take a shot with a player and where to avoid putting up a brick. The historic teams and players are a lot of fun to compete with in Play Now Online or offline in almost every mode of NBA 2K18. Taking a quick look at these players' badges and ratings using the gameplay HUD and hot zone indicator should get you up to speed on how to learn and use these players effectively. That's all for now. See you next time for more expert tips. We all love to connect with our favorite NBA players by wearing their jerseys. And now Nike has created the Nike Connected Jersey where we can connect with the teams even further and get some goodies even in 2K. Yes. So today I have Ronnie 2K here with me to explain this a little bit better. The Nike Connected jersey allows people to get closer to the game than ever before. You can swipe using the Nike Connect app and get some really cool goods like exclusive playlists. You can also get My Team cards for the premium players. Otherwise, you get an arena card in My Team, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, My Player Boost to just enhance your NBA 2K18 experience. Cool. And we have Blake here with a Lakers Brandon Ingram jersey. So, Ronnie, when a fan gets a jersey, yep. what's next? How do they connect? You have to get the Nike Connect app on your mobile device. You connect it to your 2K gamer tag, then you tap your jersey, and all of a sudden you get all that content sent to your 2K profile. It's really cool. You'll have the My Team card and the My Player Boost waiting for you. Cool. Well, thank you, Ronnie. And I know another piece of exciting news that we got was about the NBA 2K League. So, do you have? Any inside info that you can share? Qualification begins January 1st and it's gonna last a month. All you need is 50 Pro-Am wins to qualify. It'd be 18 and over, of course. Really encourage everyone to participate. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see who gets in. Yeah, it's gonna be quite a process and uh, very exciting. Thank you again for joining us on 2K TV and I'm sure you'll be back with us soon. Yes, look forward to it. Hey guys, I'm Dan Indra, and I'm still a game designer for the NBA 2K series. We've had a big week in career mode where we literally have twice as many 99 overalls as we did before. These four new additions to the 99 Club will receive my Nikes, the Legend Badge, and Immortalization in NBA 2K19. So congratulations to everybody who's reached the milestone of 99 overall. Speaking of congratulations, we also want to give a shout out to our new 98s. First up, we have a pure stretch five center, Captain Harley. Flampo with a pure host scorer. Jay Bizzle, our third center this week. We also got the game VIP with his pure slashing point guard. At small forward, Louis Supreme. Also a small forward, Mr. Man the God. Casser's Laker 24 was slashing and playmaking as a point guard. And finally, it's reigning MVP, a pure playmaking shooting guard. And for those of you keeping score at home, that's three centers and only two point guards this week. And of course, with the holiday break fast approaching, we expect to see more 99s and even more 98s in the coming weeks. Until then, we'll see you next time. Same 2K time, same 2K channel. Hey guys, I'm Robbie, and we're here today to talk about my team's pack and playoffs mode. Pack and playoffs is simple, easy, and fun. You draft a team of five players and a coach, 
and then go online and play series of games against the world. When you start packing playoffs, you're going to be presented with five packs. Each of those packs has a coach, and it's very important to decide what your system proficiency will be as a result of which coach you choose. So if you get a Greg Popovich card, you get that diamond, he's a defensive system proficiency, so that will determine which players you want to draft. In this example, we got Stan Van Gundy. He is a post-centric coach, which means you're gonna want some big beasts down low. Coming soon to pack in playoffs, you can choose which position you'd like to draft in each round. So if you wanna pick a team with five point guards, you can, but you're gonna have a lot of trouble when you get into the actual gameplay. If you pick a well-balanced team, I think you'll have great success in the mode. When you go through and pick your pack, if you pick two point guards, you're going to be presented with the option of keeping one of them. So you definitely wanna look at that system proficiency and see which player is higher in the system proficiency. On the other hand, if you're presented with an emerald player versus a silver player, but the silver player has a better proficiency, you might still wanna consider picking that emerald up because you wanna have a great team overall too. In our example draft, we picked up the Ruby Elvin Hayes Historic card. Great card overall, and it is an example of what is also added to the game now. You get a chance at cards like Ruby Historic Rookie Michael Jordan. If you get that card, you're in luck. Go pick him up and dominate. Keep in mind, when you're drafting your team, you're going to be playing with these guys for at least four games. It's just like the real playoffs. You have to win four games to advance to the next round. There's some really cool prizes after you complete each round, and of course, if you're able to make the finals and win, you get some even better stuff. So get out there, draft your team, compete online, and remember, you can't beat my team. Our top play of the month is coming up next week, and we will find out who will take on last month's winner, Mob Wolf. But until then, let's check out your top plays from this week. See here with four of your best plays of the week. Getting started with JD and one, the 360 reverse layup plus the foul. Next we have Corn Huskers. No, snatching that dunk away. Dre's up next in the do NBA 3x. Fakes and hits the three with contact. Curry, eat your heart out. Yeah. Finally, I am legend. Ah! What was that? And what was that? Shoving the man to the ground and going behind the back on the dunk. I don't see a ref. Vote now for your favorite play. And if you think you have something better, submit on social media with the hashtag 2KTVWOW. This is the 2KMC signing off. That's all for this week, guys. Thanks for watching, but I hope that you're excited because it is that time of the year again for our super duper fun holiday special, and we are working on it right now. When did you know that you wanted to be an NBA player? Uh, when I was in fourth grade after I left the uh, NBA Finals game. Is there any way bowling has helped your basketball? I don't think so. <laughs> I could have bowled it! Me too. <laughs> One of the first things I always tell people is to jump into 2KU. Jump into freestyle and just mess around, that's what we're gonna do. Going through the holidays, we also have some fun things going on. Yeah, 2K has to celebrate. Make sure that you look out for that episode on December 22nd, and I will see you guys there.